Hello, Macy here. This is a tutorial describing how to make missiles and torpedoes and taking a quick look at action groups. So please note the difficulty rating of this tutorial and make sure it's for you. This is a Mosquito LX which we'll use as a template so I can show you how to make the regular torpedoes. Firstly take the small docking port and place it on the nose. Um, turn it round with the W, A, S and D keys so it places end on to the one you've already got and then you need a LV1 engine and just plop it on the end. Now to move the camera around for much better angles just hold shift and right mouse button and you can pretty much angle this camera anywhere you need it to be. So once you've done that take a Oscar B fuel tank and plop that on the end and then you need a, another docking port and without turning it around this time just put that on the end. Now this makes it modular in the way that it can be stored and you can stack further torpedoes onto the end as long as you've placed this torpedo on a docking port that's facing any direction off your ship. So now this is the um, bit that makes it easy. Hold Alt and then left click on where you want to duplicate from and then you'll get a copy of what you've already got. So you can just double them up quite easily and form a stack as long as you want. But um, for now we'll just leave it as two and um, I'll just show you how to launch these. These are the easiest of all the torpedoes to build, launch and use. They're just very basic and straightforward. To fire them, throttle up to max and manually engage this engine and then release the node from the docking port and off it goes. You can then repeat that as many times as you want depending how long your stack is. Um, you can see they're going very slowly at the moment but in a vacuum they do pick up considerable speed by the time they hit target. So although simple um, they are quite effective actually. Now let's take a look at some more sophisticated torpedoes or missiles and introduce some action groups. This is a Isprit, naval Isprit, which is going to take the docking port off the end for now and build the missile on the nose because it's just easier to find a nice point to build off. Um, take the small girder. If you're unsure about what parts I'm using here just watch this in high res and look at the lists I'm getting them from and the tool tips. This is the smallest girder. Now I'm adding one of these nose cones which have an impact tolerance of 20 which is good for us. So now I'm moving the camera again. Remember it's left shift and right mouse button. It's best to get yourself nicely angled up to do things like this. So take a separatron, add symmetry or just press X and place it on the side right here. It doesn't matter too much where it is but if you can find a specific point because you're going to need to match it in a minute. Everything you build in the space plane hangar will be mirror symmetry. So if you grab this and then turn this part around by 90 degrees we can use that mirror symmetry to get um, another pair on here. If you want far more accurate versions of these missiles you'll have to angle these separatrons by 5 degrees so um, the missile spins but we're just going to keep these simple. Take a close look at what you've done and make sure that you've got them spaced precisely evenly and that they're at 90 degree angles from each other otherwise it will just go out of control. Um, take that off for now and add a separator. I'm going to use the small probe separator for this and pop that on there and add the torpedo to that um, and then turn it back round. You know how to do that just so it's the right way up. doesn't really matter. Um, I've used separators on this torpedo which makes them non reloadable but I'm going to attach them to the docking ports of the Isprit which is a reloadable vessel so it can reload with any other sort of torpedo but these torpedoes are single shot so bear that in mind um, but you can easily convert them. We're using our little hold alt and copy trick again because um, we want to be able to fire them separately and symmetry will irreversibly link them so take this tab at the top for action groups and now we're going to set up the firing mechanisms and the way this works is take these bottom 10 slots here which directly correspond to your numbers 1 to naught on your keyboard. To add anything to these slots just left click on the part required and then click on the action you want that part to take and it will link it to that number. If you see I've just set up everything to fire for the moment with naught so I've just selected both of the decouplers and all of the separatrons and got them all to activate at the same time by just pressing naught. To do them individually you just do the same but individually. But this is how I do all control groups. If you can see 
these are my four main VTOL engines on two and um, on three I've got my stabilizer VTOL engine so they're very very useful these action groups I mean on four I've got my aerials on five I've got my ladders yeah so that's how you do action groups so to fire them all you need to do is hit your keyboard shortcut and off they go nice and simple now let's have a very quick look at the battle cruiser. I'm not going to go into it too much because if you've watched this tutorial you already know probably how this works and be able to make your own weapons as such. So I'm just going to take it apart a bit and so you can see how I've done it. This is the smart missile system um, which is just comprised of one RCS tank, one smallest probe body. If you can see there's one linear RCS port in the middle of that which is just then attached to a docking port. So it's just four parts, very very simple. Um, fired manually. No one has asked questions about the SMS so I'll leave that there for now. Okay let's take a look at this Hades cannon. It's actually very very simple, brutishly simple actually. It's just um, solid fuel boosters connected with decouplers which are then lashed to the hull. It's um, brutal and <laughs> very simple so from what you've learned in the um, previous ship we were looking at, um, you now know how to do this. They're just stacked one on top of the other and if you can see, if I zoom in here you can see the way I've just attached the decoupler to the hull which adds stability to the stack which also makes it very hard to um, reload this, one of the problems I'm having. But then of course everything is on the control group so I've got four shots linked. Um, the first shot is just telling the booster to ignite and the coupler to decouple at the same time and then repeat four times. That's the four shots it has twin linked. When you are developing um, weapons tech for your ships make sure you test them extensively before you put them together because there's nothing worse than finding a problem with your weapons tech and then having to rebuild your whole ship. Um, so just experiment. Just get it onto the launch pad, stick it on some struts and fire stuff off it and see how it works. That's what I do. Really there's an infinite number of different ways you can do these weapons and torpedoes so just be creative. Um, I hope this helped. Bye for now.